Hey there, uh, this is Matt from Boom Digital Marketing Company, and I appreciate you taking uh, the time to uh, watch this little training video on how we're getting a great response and return on investment for our HVAC clients. Now, uh, the great thing about our system is its simplicity. The reason why your typical website doesn't convert is that your customers get lost or overwhelmed by the options. So what we utilize is a streamlined approach. We run ads, prospects click on the ads, they land on a dedicated landing page, they enter their information to schedule. All right, so uh, let's jump right in. Um, Here we go. All right, so let's first take a look at a typical Google AdWords or pay-per-click campaign. Um, there is the top level of AdWords is the campaign level. And within the campaign level, you have different ad groups, okay? Ad groups. And within the ad groups, you have your ads. Okay, so now back at the campaign level, we're able to set the campaign budget right here. We're able to set the campaign budget as well as where the ads will show up. Um, so in this case, it's the search network only. And then there's different kinds of uh, campaign subtypes. There's call only. Um, and in the case of the HVAC repair, I have all features. Now going into the campaign, we see the ad groups, right? In this case, there's only one ad group that I have for HVAC repair. And, um, and then you see at the ad group level, I have the default maximum cost per click at $13. Uh, this seems to be a good starting off point, but uh, on some keywords, uh, they are, more expensive than that. So we have to adjust our budgets uh, accordingly. I'll get into that in a little bit. Again, you see it's search network only, um, all features. And by the way, you'll see that um, everything's blank here. This is just a, a quick campaign that I set up for demo purposes. Um, I really didn't want to, uh, to show any active campaigns that we have going on. So, um, so within the ad group, in the campaign, you can see we have uh, the, the uh, keywords that we're targeting. Um, and uh, you'll notice some keywords have quotes around them, like this, and others have pluses. And what those variations determine is the targeting. So for instance, having quotes around the keyword or the keyword phrase, it tells Google that when someone does a search, all of those keywords in that order must be used in order for your ad to show. So now the keywords that have a plus, that tells Google that we wanna target those keywords and that all of them must appear in the search, but they can be in any order for our ads to show. So now, I'm, although I'm not using it in this campaign yet, we can also add negative keywords and what negative keywords do is they tell Google to not show ads when certain words appear in the search. So for instance, if you don't want to target um, boiler repair, for instance. Now, once a campaign is running, we can further modify the keywords by turning them on and off. Uh, we can pause them and reactivate ads. Um, and we can adjust our uh, our, our cost that we're willing to pay for individual keywords. So if they're not ranking uh, where we'd like them to be, we can adjust that kind of stuff um, or eliminate. The other thing we look at is ad extensions. And um, ad extensions um, are call outs um, that we add to the campaigns. And it's just another way to add useful information about your business to the ad. And it also increases the size of the ad so it visually stands out from the crowd. 
just a little um, added trick that we use there. So now let's look at how we track calls. We track calls using a uh, service called CallFire, and that allows us to create a call tracking number, as many as we want. Um, and we can use it for tracking in the analytics. Um, it, so it will tell us about our responses. And um, it also allows us to record conversations if we want. So you can see there's call rec records, um, whether there's live answers or if it was transferred. And then we're able to see details about the call, how long the call lasted. And there's a recording of the call so um, we can see, uh, you know, how the call went, track that kind of information. So moving on to the actual landing page, we use a software called ClickFunnels. And if you haven't heard of ClickFunnels, it's a, uh, it's a great piece of software for creating highly optimized landing pages and funnels, sales funnels. Um, the landing pages that we've created with this have been tested, finessed for maximum response and conversions. So although it appears simple, it's gone through rigorous split testing to arrive at what works. And we modify and update the landing page bit with your information, our call tracking number. And here's how we can go. We go in, we can edit the page. And we're able to update all this information, add the call tracking number, um, things like that. Um, and we can add um, or subtract services if, those are things that we need to, uh, to change. Um, but again, this is what we have found to be the right balance of information um, to have enough authority that people trust you and, um, and call or submit their information. So some people will call and others will submit their information through the form. And then once they do, the lead is routed directly to whatever email that we have set up. And here's the thank you page. So they submit their information and then it goes to the thank you page. Um, and you get an email with whatever was set up and it, this all happens live and in real time. And it, they're exclusive. I mean, this is, uh, this is your funnel. So, uh, you know, though it's pretty simple and straightforward as a sales funnel, um, we're able to drive hundreds of leads from people searching for your service with maximum return on investment. Anyway, I hope this quick training was useful to you. If you're interested in more information on how we can set up the same system for you and get you hundreds of new customers, please reach out to me, Matt, at matt at boomdmc.com. And thanks again for your time. And uh, have a great day.